and welcome to Violin with Paula. I'm Paula, this is Francesco, and we are on week 16 of the Quetzal Challenge in the middle of the Trill Etudes. So today's offering is in D major, and I think it's quite a sort of jolly little tune. So even while you're in the midst of doing all these slightly tedious trills, um, I think you can still make some fun music out of it. I've got a couple of variations which I'll just show to you um, in case you need to not play so many trills because it's quite tiring for the left arm. So. <laughs> interesting things about these videos is I try to do them live and unedited and raw just to sort of dispel the idea that violinists should be perfect um, because we're definitely not and every recording that you hear has likely been doctored quite significantly um, so I like to keep it real um, but I, this is my second take of this etude and the first one I missed a shift and I was like oh should I re-record now I shouldn't have had a whole interior monologue as I was playing which as you can imagine then made my playing not particularly good and focused um, but very luckily my dog started barking extremely loudly toward the end of it, so I thought it was alright to re-record. So thank you Nutmeg for saving me. Without further ado, etude number 16. <laughs> when you're doing your own trill etudes is if you find your left hand is not very clear really pay attention to what your bow is doing so your bow might be leading the charge for your left hand to come off the off the string and not press down firmly enough or your left hand might be fine and your bow is coming off so especially when you want to give an emphasis to the beginning of the note really think about what the end of the stroke in the bow is doing 
So, hope you enjoyed that and see you again next week for 18th number 17, which is a trill prep exercise in B flat major. See you then, thanks, bye.